and uh, yep, you guys know the drill. Gotta do this for a week. I I'm never gonna bet with the uh, Sunday again. Hey guys, Craner here, and welcome back to yet another Craner. And the crazy family reacts to some weird pictures that Crater found online. You guys are really loving these videos. So if you enjoyed this one and want to see more like it, definitely hit that like button down below. Also, if you are at all new to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Click that little bell to turn on notifications and become a part of the notification squad. Peace, homie. Mic drop. Actually, it was a headphone drop. It still counts, though, right? What am I doing? So today, I thought it would be funny if we reacted to some hilarious kid test answers. You know, kind of like if a kid... Uh, I, I actually did this in school as well. I can't really remember an example. But where I thought I answered the test correctly, but I actually didn't. But in a sense, it was still kind of correct. Because it was still... And I don't know why I burp so much now when I recall videos. Like, it doesn't make any sense. So basically, these are 32 pictures of kids that answer hilarious ways in their test. So let's just get right into it, guys. I hope you, you're going to enjoy this video. Number one, what ended in 1896? Now, we probably assume that the teacher wants to know what happened in 1890. Actually, what did happen? What happened in 1896? A lot apparently happened. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't be bothered to learn. Anyway, so the kid writes 1895. And, you know, this is what I was talking about. Technically, the kid is not wrong. But the guy or girl who answered this is definitely probably not right either according to the test. But he is right in a sense. <laughs> I freaking love that, dude. Number two. What do we call the science of classifying living things? Racism. I don't really know what... What did I just do with my tongue, by the way? What the crap was that? <laughs> I don't even know what the right answer is supposed to be to this. I'm t racism sounds just about the definition of this, kind of, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do good job. You get it, you get an A plus plus, homie. <laughs> That's what you deserve for that one. <laughs> okay, what does this say? Three, zero, write oh. And he just write oh. Gosh. Okay. So he's supposed to write greater than or less than this. So he has to say, okay, 0 0.5, that's less than 1.0. 3.2 is, is greater than 3.02. But he thought he was just supposed to write all. You, you did a really good job. You know, you actually completed the task. You wrote all everywhere, but you just, you just misunderstood it. <laughs> just a little tiny bit, bro. But I completely get that. I would probably have done the same thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I, I'm not good at math. Math? Even though this is pretty easy, I think I could nail this one. Maybe. You never know. Find eggs. Oh, dude, I love this one. If you guys don't know this about me, my least favorite subject in school was definitely math. So I was always really, really terrible at math. So you know what? Find eggs. You found eggs, man. It's right there. <laughs> I bet the student is like, is my teacher blind? X is right there. Like, what, what, what do you want me to do? But I think he's supposed to do something with the value of X or, or something. I See, this is what I'm talking about. I would have done the same thing, man. I got your back, homie. X is right there. You tell that teacher, homie. Where was the American Declaration of Independence signed? <laughs> At the bottom. <laughs> Dude, I freaking love these answers because they're not wrong. It's just not the answer that the teacher probably wanted. And he is right. It was signed at the bottom. I think the teacher meant where, like, in the world was it signed. I, I think that was the answer. Draw a plant cell and it identify its most important parts. 
<laughs> he put a plant in a cell and he said the iron bars and no windows is the most important part of a planned cell. You are, you know what? These kids are not dumb. They are just creative, dude. I love that. But obviously a plant cell is the cell of a plant. You know, the little, little thing that like makes all living things. I'm gonna assume that at least, but I, I would give this an A plus two for create, 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 kid not being able to talk, creativity, cre creativity. Explain the phrase free press when your mom irons trousers for you. <laughs> Oh, these are way too fun, dude. Okay, what's the next one? What is the highest frequency noise that a human can register? Mariah Carey. <laughs> oh, I would have laughed so much if he wrote like Craner 2015 back when I used that. Hey, right, guys! Voice. And that would have been kind of hilarious, but that's also an hilarious answer. And once again, I think you're right. <laughs> The difference between 180 and 158 is 22. So that was right, right? Wait, is that right? Oh, yeah, that is right. I do math, apparently. <laughs> Try this. Explain how you found your answer in problem four. So I guess this is problem four. And he just wrote math. <laughs> What a freaking boss, dude! Explain how you found the answer to that. I'll tell you. Math. Puts on sunglasses. Slides out the frame. It would have been so much cooler if my chair didn't stop sliding mid 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 midway through that slide. But we can't control everything, you know. I just want to be cool. Number 10, would you want to swim with the boy in this water? Circle yes or no. He said no, okay, he doesn't want to swim with the boy. Uh, no, because there is trash in the water. That's correct. And he's choppy. <laughs> Not very nice. <laughs> Oh gosh, dude! No! You can still swim with him, dude! It's just because of the trash! It's not because he's choppy! I like the note that the teacher put. That's kind of... I find it adorable still. I don't know why. It, it's just kind of cute. Okay, what's, the, what's number 11? Unscramble the words to make a sentence about each sentence. In my pen... Is pen in gold my A? My penis. In a goat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> it could have just been, is my goat in a pen? Would that even make sense? I mean, it's way better than this answer, at least. That's kind of awkward. <laughs> Solving equation by... I don't get that one. I don't know math. I'm sorry. Fill in the solutions. Okay. Directions. Read each of the problems and come up with a solution for each one. Problems. You fell on the playground and scratched your knee. Solutions. Get up and deal with it. <laughs> Yo, is this just like a young military man? What the crap, man? What a boss kid. <laughs> I love that. I wonder, is that even the wrong answer? Like, what else would you do? I mean, put a, put a band-aid on it? I, I don't freaking know. <laughs> Number 14. Mike saw 17 blue cars and 25 green cars at the toy store. Dude, I hated these math problems back when I went, went to school. They were the worst, dude. How many cars did he see? So that's 17 plus 25. Write a number with a... Uh, for the missing number, explain why the number sentence... How... Explain how the number sentence shows the problem. 17 plus 25 equals 42. I got the answer by talking in my brain, and I agreed of the answer that my brain got. <laughs> Dude! I freaking love these kids, man! I, I, I know that feel as well, man. I talk to my brain a lot, and I do agree with my brain a lot as well. <laughs> Number 18. How is the brain like a cantaloupe? 
list seven ways. I guess this is a cantaloupe. So I would say maybe the shape. Something like that. But this guy wrote number one. It is delicious. I'll be I'll be terrified of that kid. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. I would be really scared of that kid. But you know what? Whatever floats your boat, kid. I'm not gonna have a problem with it, especially not if you eat my brain. So I'm just gonna stay out of that problem right there. <laughs> Miranda can't see anything when she looks down her microscope. So just one reason why not. Oh yeah, sometimes you gotta like look at the correct angle to even look out of a microscope. I guess that's what they want. What did this guy wrote? She is blind. Nice try, says the teacher. I mean, it, it does make sense. It, it, it does. <laughs> Number 20. In which state do the particles show the most movement? Calif California? In which state do the particles show the least movement? New Jersey. Oh, state. He was just talking about states. And these? And, and these? I don't... Wow. I don't really get that one either, but... He, he got that one really wrong. Use commands to tell your sister to do the following things. Oh, this is Spanish. What did he write? I don't have a sister. Wow. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's kind of sad. But still, it's not because you have to have a sister. The test is probably just so you can say the word sister and ask her to do stuff, I, I suppose. I don't think you have to have a sister to participate in this lesson. <laughs> Number 22, I can jump, I can run, I can play in the sun, I can swim, I can skate, skate, I can bake a cake. Draw yourself doing your favorite activity, finish the sentence, I can pee. <laughs> Is that his favorite activity? Carson and I spoke about this, but I thought it might be a chance for a family discussion on best self at school. Thanks. What is he peeing on? Is that another person he's peeing on? What the crap, Carson? <laughs> what did Gandhi and Geng Genghis Khan have in common? Unusual names. <laughs> Oh, gosh, dude. What are three things you want to do uh, in the future? Get a girlfriend. That's a good one. Kiss her. That's a good one. Rule the world. This guy is very specific. I like it. Not a problem with that, but pretty, pretty you know, just maybe like one, get an ice cream, two, play with my friends, and three, take a shower. I, I don't know. Something more regular, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite Hugh Jackman? <laughs> you guys know Hugh Jackman, right? Look at this. Oh, gosh, man. This is the guy that plays Wolverine, man. Everybody knows him. And the teacher even wrote clever. Dude, that's the perfect answer, man. In one word, describe school. Well, a child swallows a cleaning product. Why is milk often given to make them happy before they die? That, that one is just messed up. Holy crap, man. Good morning. Today is a free ride day. You may choose your own topic to write about in your journal. Tomorrow, I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be in... Vi I think maybe he wanted to type Virginia, but he got that completely wrong. Oh, dude, that was so much fun, man. <laughs> if you guys want to see me react to more weird pictures like this, definitely let me know down in the comments or by hitting that like button, man. Thank you for all of the support lately. You guys are absolutely amazing. And these are some funny freaking answers, dude. I wish I could remember what I myself had typed back when I, I... I told you guys about that right in the intro. I wish I could remember, but I just can't, dude. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.